Hey everyone, welcome to Squash at Home Yoga, last day of week one. Today we're going to do an awesome and juicy flow. It's going to be pretty freestyle. We're bringing in a lot of the things that we've done this week together into one session. So just stick with me and flow and do anything that feels good to your body and your mind during this session. So to start, can we all please come and stand and close the eyes. Let's draw the shoulders up to the ears, back and down, really pressing the shoulders down. Draw them up, back and down. And one more time, draw them up, back and down. And then let's go ahead and bring our awareness to our breath, keeping the eyes closed, breathing in through the nose, one, two, three, and out. One, two, three. In, one, two, three, out. One, two, three. Keep going at your own pace and continue counting your breath. Open up the eyes, and here we go. Inhale, draw the fingertips up towards the sky. Reach, 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 reach. And exhale, fold forward over the legs. Release the head and the neck. Inhale, lift halfway. Extend the spine. Exhale, fold completely. Inhale, lift up, rise up. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, lower your right hand down to the outside of the hand, and then reach left fingertips to the right, pushing hips out to the left. Inhale, come up back through center. Exhale, lower left hand, other side. Press the hips out to the right. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower the right hand down. And extend. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower down, extend. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan down forward. Completely release the head and neck. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release the feet just wider than hip distance. And go ahead and take hold of opposite elbows and hang down, lag dog. Release the head and neck. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And out. Bring the right hand to the outside of the left lower leg and press into the outside of the leg. As you inhale, lift the fingertips, left fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, other side. Inhale, rise. Press into the outside of the right leg. Exhale, lower. Switch sides. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. And up. Thank you. Exhale, long. Walk the hands forward into a plank position. In plank, let's slowly lower down halfway. And then lift up halfway, upward facing dog. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Exhale, downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, take three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Bend the knees. Look forward. Jump or step forward. Inhale, lift to tabletop. To chair pose. Okay, babe. Thank you. Enough. Thank you. That's enough. That's enough. Thank you. No, no. Legit. That's enough. Cody. Thank you. Chair pose, sitting back and down, and breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, 
Exhale, fold forward, straighten out the leg. Release the head and neck, shake it, no, and yes. On an inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold completely. Inhale, lift up, reach up, extend. Exhale, swan dive forward, release head and neck. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float back, and lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it forward. Lower the back heel. Inhale, rise. Warrior one. We're staying here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Bend the knee. Get a right angle, five parallel to the floor. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Warrior two. Right fingertips forward, left back. And then look at the back foot and make sure it's roughly parallel with the back of your mat. And again, bend through that front thigh parallel to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, straighten your front leg, flip the front palm and reverse triangle. Extend and reach the fingertips, right fingertips to the back of your space. Release your left hand on the back of the leg and reach as long as you can. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, back to parallel arms and then reach the right fingertips forward in space as far as you can. Front leg is straight, come into triangle pose. Lower the hand wherever it falls on the shin. And on an inhale, lift the left fingertips up towards the sky or ceiling and extend as long as you can. Either keep the hand on the shin or bring it to the inside of the calves so you can push in order to rotate the chest to the left. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Exhale, hands down, either side or front foot. Inhale, straighten the front leg, lower the back heel down to the ground. If this is too hard on your hamstrings, you can bring your front leg, your back leg in a little bit further. And then from here, come to a flat back, extend. And then on an exhale, slowly begin to lower down. If it doesn't work for your hands to come all the way down to the ground, just go ahead and give a slight bend to the knee. And then release the head and neck. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Lift all the way up. Warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, plank. In plank, bring your feet together, right hand to the center of your space, roll on to the right side, coming into right side plank. And on an inhale, left arm rises up, reach the fingertips up, inhale. Exhale, one, press the hips up as high as you can. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three. Lower down, back to plank, left hand in center of space, stack the feet, roll on to the left side and extend the right arm up. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, press the hips up. Exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Lower the right hand down. On an exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, three breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it through. Lower the back heel, warrior one. Lift up, rise up. Hands reach up, extend, elbows straight. Bending through that front thigh, thigh parallel to the floor. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. 
Exhale, three. Transition, warrior two. Left fingertips forward, right back. And then move the back heel so it's parallel to the back of your mat. Shoulders press down and away and reach energetically with your fingertips away from each other. Inhale. Exhale, one. Knee tracks over ankle. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten out through the front leg. Reach the left fingertips up and over the body and release the back hand to the back of the right leg. And breathe. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, come forward. And then reach those left fingertips as far forward as you can, pushing the hips back behind you. Coming into triangle, lower the left hand wherever it falls on the shin. And extend the right fingertips up to the sky, coming to triangle pose. Leave the left hand on the shin, or perhaps place the back of the palm on the outside, on the inside of the shin, to use that as leverage to open the chest up to the right. And breathe, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, lift back up. Reverse. And exhale, come through bent knee. Hands come to either side of the front foot. And then straighten out through that front leg and lower the back heel, perhaps bringing the foot in ever so slightly. Inhale, straighten out the spine, lift up, gaze up. And then slowly begin to melt the heart to the shin and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, hands down either side of front foot. Inhale, step back, plank. In plank, again, bring the right hand to the center of the mat. Progressing, we're going to roll onto the right side of the foot, come into our side plank, extend the left arm up to the sky, and then perhaps lift the left leg up and hold. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Listen carefully, lower the back toe, the left toe behind the right foot, and then begin to puff up the chest up towards the ceiling and then reach your left fingertips towards away from your body opening up rock star and then slowly come out of it coming back into your plank position and hold plank for one breath inhale exhale left hand to the center roll onto the left side same thing other side stack the feet if that's too uncomfortable one foot in front of the other and extend, lift the right fingertips up to the sky. And then from here, perhaps progress and lift the right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Lower the right toe behind the left leg. And then puff up the chest towards the sky and reach the right fingertips away from the body. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three. Make your way back to your high plank position. Lower the knees down nice and wide. The width of your mat, press your heels back and come into child's pose, either arms forward or arms back and breathe. Slowly come on up to all fours, hands and knees, tabletop position. Hands are directly underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. Cat cow, inhale, arch the spine, gaze up. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. 
Inhale, back to center. And then from here, really brace through the abdominals, engage the abdominals. On an inhale, extend right fingertips forward, left toes back, extend nice and long, and then round the back and bring right elbow to left knee, engaging through the abdominals. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it together, touch elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Last one. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, and then from here, bend the left knee, and then go ahead and take a hold of the foot if that's available to you. If not, just go as far as you can, and on an inhale, push the foot as far away from the body as possible, arching through the spine. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. With control, slowly on an inhale, extend away. Exhale, lower hand and knee at the same time. Other side, inhale, left fingertips forward, right toes back, use control and brace through the abdominals. Exhale, round the back, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, go slow with control. Exhale, round, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the knee, take a hold of the foot, and on an inhale, push the foot energetically away from the body, arching through the spine, and breathe. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, Exhale, three. With control, slowly release and reach left fingertips forward, right toes back, extend, extend, and begin to lower with control on the exhale. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog, three breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Bend the knees, lift between the fingertips, and jump or step through to seated. And then extending the legs out in front of the body, flexing through the heels and toes. On an inhale, extend the arms up, lift up, gaze up. And then exhale, begin to fold forward, keeping your back as straight as possible, spine nice and long. Your hands might reach your feet, they might reach your calves, they might just reach your knees, wherever you are, no judgments. And just simply try and keep that spine nice, as, nice and long as you slowly extend down. Releasing eventually the head and the neck. Five breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, reach up, rise up. And then exhale with control, round the back. Use your abdominal strength to keep this control. And then release, extend the arms back behind the body. And exhale, lift back up with control, opposite way in which we came. Extend forward and up and lift and rise. And then round, reaching the hands forward again, slowly with control, releasing down, extend. And then bring the hands back facing forward and begin to lift using those abdominals. Last one, exhale, round the back, round, 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 engaging, engaging. Release the hands back. And then from here, hug the knees into the chest. Hold on to the backs of the thighs and begin to rock and roll forward forward and back, massaging all the way up and down the spine. And then begin to build up some momentum because we want to build up towards planting our feet and rising all the way up to a standing position. And here we go. Lift and extend up. Exhale all the way down. Release head and neck. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step or jump back, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg rises, 
Exhale, bring me to me to right to right to right. So your right knee is on the right side of your mat, and then your shin is coming to as parallel as the body will allow. And then from here, just looking back at your left leg and make sure that it's directly behind in one nice long line. And then from here, let's just go ahead and begin to walk the hands forward nice and controlled. Forearms down. And then stay here if this feels good or alternatively extend all the way down, arms forward or across wherever is comfortable for you. And we'll be here for 10 breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Exhale, two. Exhale, three. Exhale, four. Exhale, five. Exhale, six. Exhale, seven. Exhale, eight. Exhale, nine. Exhale, ten. Begin to prop yourselves back up onto your forearms, lifting up onto your hands, and then release the right hip down towards the mat. And then you're going to swing your left leg around. And if this is too uncomfortable for you where the right knee is bent, you can just simply go ahead and straighten out that leg. Otherwise, keep it bent into the body. And the left foot is just in line with that right thigh, facing forward and straight. Hug that left knee into the chest. And then from here, hold that left knee in place with your left hand and extend the right arm up to the sky and then twist your left and push that thigh across so that you can hook the back of the right tricep against the thigh. Left arm comes behind the body. On an inhale, extend the spine nice and long and then exhale, twist to your left chest. Coming over to the left, gaze over to the left, but try to lead with the heart as Twisting your neck around. And here we go. Five breaths. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Twist deeper. Inhale. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Twist. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. Slowly come back to your center, counter twist to the other side. One breath. And then come on back to your center and extend that left leg back behind you. Coming back up to your downward facing dog. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Left leg rises. Left knee to left rest. Shin comes across the mat. And get nice and set up on this side, just as you did on the other. Look at your back leg, make sure it's directly behind the body in one nice long line. Bring that left shin as far forward as is comfortable for your body. And then with a nice long spine, slowly begin to come down to your forearms. And you might need to, or want to stay here. If you have any pain in the knee, certainly please do not lower any further. Instead, just go ahead and stay lifted and perhaps bring the heel in further towards the body. And otherwise, if it's available to you, go ahead, come on down. I'm going to leave it to you for your breaths. We're here for 10 breaths.
inhale, slowly come up back onto your forearms, lifting up onto your hands. And then let's go ahead and release that left hip down to the mat. Swing the right leg around. And you're going to bring that right foot to be roughly parallel with the left thigh. And then from here, let's go ahead and hug that knee in towards the chest. And then keep pressing it and hugging it by pushing your right arm against. Inhale, left arm rises. Exhale, hook the back of the tricep against the outside of the right thigh. Extend the right arm back behind your body on the mat. And then begin to press that elbow into the outside of the thigh to leverage more spinal twist. And then let's breathe. Inhale, straighten your spine as much as possible. Lift the gaze and then exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Inhale, counter twist to the other side. Exhale. Let's go ahead and bring the feet in front of the body. And then again, we're going to do one last vinyasa. We're going to rock and roll on the back. And one last turn to test out, getting some ballast to come all the way up into a standing position. Here we go. And lift straight up. Extend, extend. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float back, chaturanga. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down dog. Bend the knees, look between the fingertips, step or jump forward, coming into a seated position. And then from here, with control, slowly lower down halfway. Hug the left knee in. Lower the left knee off to your right side. Spinal twist. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Come back to center. Hug the right knee into the chest. Lower down to the left side. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Coming back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. And then extend the legs long on the ground. Relax the legs completely. Let the toes play out to the side. Arms can be released and relaxed. Palms facing upwards. Closing the eyes if you're not already. Completely relaxing through the toes, the ankles, the calves. Shoulders releasing and relaxing down into the earth. The knees. Releasing and relaxing. Shoulders, arms, wrists, fingertips. Completely release. Jaw, forehead, nose, hairline, and most importantly, the brain. Completely relax.
Begin to wiggle, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Turn your arms back behind the body. Bring the feet together and reach fingertips and toes away from each other as long as you can. And then slowly begin to bend through the knees, place the feet flat on the ground and roll to the right side. Make your way up into a seated position, keeping the eyes closed. Sitting up straight and just take a moment to recognize and appreciate the state of the mind and body. Recognize gratitude, first to yourself, and then also to the community for showing up for your practice today. Bring your hands together in prayer. Namaste. Good job, everyone. Have an awesome weekend.